Hello friends, welcome to the my YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss about exception handling in Qt or exception handling in C++. So there's a lots of frequently asked questions about how to perform the exception handling functionality in Qt or how to handle the exception in Qt application or how to stop the uh, application crash when exception occurred in our application. So there's a lots of questions about exception handling. So let me show the first of all, let me show the problem and then I will give you the solutions about okay. So we will discuss about in this in this video try and catch and try and accept module. Okay. So let's uh, let me add the push button control. Now let's create the uh, click event. Okay. Now let me write the uh, some basic exception code. So let's uh, create one simple exception uh, where we divide the value by the uh, zero. So let's divide the value by the zero. So this is the uh, exception code. Here. Our exception generated here. You can you know the we cannot uh, divide any value by the zero. Okay. So now let's run the application and see the result. So you can see the our application is crash okay uh, just because we cannot uh, uh, divide any value by the zero so now let's write the simple standard try catch you uh, you can write the standard exception now let's print the value okay now let's include the basic required header file i suggest you you should always include qt core and qt widgets header file in your application this is a both this both are the basic required header file for your qt application so just simply include that both header file when you create your project in qt So you can see our application is still crashed. You can also try these things. Let me comment this code. Now let's write the open message here. See if our application uh, exception catch. exception here okay now let's run the application you can see our application is still crash so we cannot handle here exception here let me remove these things and now let's use the throw keyword okay now let's write the one validation because here we know the value is uh, if value is zero we cannot uh, divide the uh, any value by the zero so if value is less than or equal to zero here we have to throw the exception okay write the uh, message value is zero for division okay now change here convert this standard string from to string So you can see our application is still running and exception is here whenever exception is sent it is th throw the message and in catch block we print our the that specific message and our application is still running okay 
so our application is not crashed so let's see one or two or more three type of exception here so this is the first one let me comment this code and let's i uh, try one more exception this is the divide by zero value exception now let's see the uh, exception for a uh, null pointer exception value so let's create the uh, null pointer value so we do did not in uh, we will did not uh, initialize the object and try to access access state value let assign here you can see we did not uh, initialize the object and directly access that object so you can see this is this is called a, a null pointer access access exception you can see the application is crashed so now let's write the uh, one condition here same as the if our uh, value uh, object is null pointer just simply throw the exception object is null okay You can see the uh, exception message. So this is the uh, second thing. Now let's see the one more exception. Now here we initialize the object. Uh, memory of ten now uh, comment this code and pass here one index uh, 15 okay this is the out of index exception okay so you can you can see the application is still crashed okay because we here we are trying to access the uh, out of bound the index exception okay so here we have to write the condition for that here just we have to pass the index index equal to 15 okay and also let's write the condition if index is less uh, greater than or equal to 10, uh, 10 okay then we have to throw the exception okay the index is out of bound of the array Okay, so now let's run the application. You can see the exception message. So this is the first and uh, good way to handle your exception and make your application is exception free. Okay. So we here we see the exception handle the exception by use of try and catch module but here we know key that uh, uh, the uh, specific kind of condition but what happened if we, we did not know about uh, uh, about the random exception or uh, runtime exception here we can let uh, let uh, one let take one example here we know about the value is zero but what happened if we did not know about it the runtime application so now let's uh, create the functionality for 
handle the runtime exception where we did not know about the validation okay so now let's create a push button 2 and create the click event here let me include the one one or two more required header file windows.h and iostream.h okay now let's write this same condition but here we remove this validation okay and use try and accept module okay now here write the exception execute handler okay so in in simple try and catch our application was going to crash but in try and accept module our application is still running when the exception is generated and application is still running and not will crash will not crash you can see the code for application is still running and exception is still generated okay now let's create the one function for now print the write the one message here okay and return the exception circuit handler now let's run the application wait for the build and see exception occurred but our application is still running okay so by this way you can prevent your application to crash or uh, stop the application so now let's uh, second exception our second exception is the null pointer exception so here we try to accept the null pointer let's write the same code copy the same code and write here just simply remove this throw line okay so in simple try and catch our application was going to crash but in try and accept our application is still running wait for the build you can see the exception is occurred but our application is still running and uh, it, uh, you can see the, the message now let's uh, use the generate the our next exception is a uh, index of outside bound of the array so just simply copy this code and just simply remove this validation code and now let's try to handle this exception Now let's run the application. Mm, let me clear run QMA and try again. You can see the application is handled our application is still running and it's not crashed so by this way you can easily handle the exception in Qt application so there is a two way to handle the uh, your application exception in the application by use of throw keyword or use a try and accept module
I suggest you, you should always follow try and catch module and with the throw keyword because if you know your uh, our uh, in your code and specific code will throw any exception so you should uh, test your code and uh, find out the all the possibility of your uh, uh, crash uh, application crash for crash point and try to write any conditions and solve that problem and take a one error code of particular exception if we suggest we for example if this uh, the exception is occurred uh, so you can you should always take a one error code for that uh, exception so by this way you can easily monitor or track your application exceptions and solve and make the stable application but if you don't know about your exception in code where we to, where will it perform a, an abnormal functionality so you should use try and accept module but uh, keep in mind this is uh, for windows functionality you should you did not uh, use that functionality in linux there is uh, some different way to use this functionality so i hope did you understand about uh, qt exception handling functionality or how to handle the exception in qt so please drop your drop your comment if you have any questions about uh, exception handling in qt and please like this video and share this video with your friend and press the bell icon to get the notification of the new video and share this video with your friends and thanks for watching my video thank you